Today's video is sponsored by Glitch Gaming. Help support the channel by using my code KevinCoolix for 25% off at checkout. More on them later. We just received some more images about Breaker, Catalyst, and some leaked images about the game modes coming in with Season 2. And it looks like 343 learned their lesson when it comes to making trailers. Something angry in the sky when it comes to the key art as well. And a lead 343 dev tells people to stop playing Halo? Well, if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again, giving you another Halo news and informational video. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it really does help out the video and channel get a better place within that all famous YouTube algorithm. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, well make sure you tap subscribe because you came to the right place. But enough begging and let's get right into the video here. So I'm sure you're all familiar with this bit of concept art for the map Breaker, which we did get a chance to see within the Season 2 trailer, which we broke down in my trailer breakdown video. If you want to check that out, we have some really interesting details shown in that video. But here's an in-game screenshot of that map, and you can kind of tell the how awesome this actually looks. I'm so glad that that same tone and color palette ca carried over from the concept art into the actual game itself. You can see the laser that they were talking about in action. If you run into that laser, it will kill you, which I'm actually excited about because I do miss that dynamic element when it came to the Halo maps and Halo Infinite's maps were pretty stagnant, not a whole lot happening right there. So I'm glad some more interactivity is happening there. It honestly reminds me a lot of the Halo 4 map Wreckage, which you can kind of see a lot of the similarities right here. And I do love the aesthetic of this map and it seems to maybe carry over to Breaker as it seems to be kind of like a smelting plant in a way to kind of break down materials into the core elements to create some new stuff for the Banished. And we did cover this on the channel just recently, but so for continuity, make sure everyone's on the same page. This is Catalyst. You can kind of see how it has much more green, much more foliage attached to it, much more like abandoned kind of look to it compared to what we saw for the original image of it, which has that same idea. You can see the rebel, you can see like the grass growing, the moss growing, stuff like that, but it seems a lot more blue a lot more clean kind of look to the whole thing where the final presentation of it looks much more like lived in and it's so much cooler here's that in-game thumbnail that they like to use for their game modes here for halo infinite and this is of land grab which we haven't really heard much about i'm sure we'll learn more about it when it comes to the april blog update that we expect to see probably later this month which we'll we'll cover in depth on this channel as you can see there are teams of four going for a specific location this could maybe be like a king of the hill kind of a quick capture kind of thing they might move over to another location location on the map or they might have multiple locations we'll have to learn more once we get more details about it here's another leaked image of the mode king of the hill which is coming with season two which will be a new version of king of the hill by the way as well but there will be a classic version that you'll be able to play with i believe just in custom games king of the hill will also be a ranked game mode and looks pretty standard to your classic king of the hill experience i do love the outline on this right here it does look very reminiscent of like the classic ce outline that we had for king of the hill so i'm very excited about seeing in this mode come back and just so we're on the same page we covered this previously on the channel but this is the last spartan standing thumbnail as well this to me just looks like a renaissance painting like it just seems so dramatic and yet so awesome at the same time i cannot wait to get a chance to play this game mode and now a quick word from today's sponsor glitch energy who provide the best products for gamer wellness it's an awesome sugar-free alternative to help live a healthier lifestyle and if you like cherry flavor i highly suggest checking out aim assist if we're trying to live a healthier life and have a lower sugar intake which i think we all can afford to have less sugar in our lives glitch is a great way to do that all you do is put one scoop of this into some water shake it around a bit let it dissolve for like five minutes and boom you got yourself a tasty drink also helps keep you energized and focused without any of the crashes because if you're playing halo infinite you're already dealing with enough crashes as it is yes yes thank you thank you yes yeah I, i'm here all day so if you want to help support the channel use my code kevin coolx for 25 percent off at checkout using my link and code also help support the channel a bit, so thanks Glitch for supporting this channel. But let's get right back to those details. Now I'm sure we've all become very familiar with the key art for season two, which does look amazing. Low Wolf's theme looks awesome to play, but it seems like 343 actually learned their lesson from the previous season about when it comes to advertising what's available for content within the season. As pointed out by Hidden Xperia that's saying that it all looks awesome, but I'm be very worried to see what is gonna be tied behind a paywall. And one of the lead of the marketing team over at 343 and Microsoft said, good news, every customization item featured in the season 
into key art is available via the season two battle pass or event pass yes including the kick-ass skull shoulders so that's a really great thing to know that look we won't have any kind of false advertising kind of like how we had with especially with tenrai and jerry hook brought that up previously saying like he apologized for the misleading advertising that they had and they're gonna take steps forward to improve that situation which looks like that's exactly what they did but you know this key art right here there's something interesting with this that we didn't really see at first and joseph staten pointed it out so joseph staten being a good employee tweets out the trailer and stuff like that talking about like hey this is gonna be great we got more stuff on the way but interesting thing he says also what's up with the dust storm it looks angry which looking at this made me think again a lot of people have pointed out this color pattern in the background right here kind of looks like a set, like a set of eyes right here this might be like a nose or something like that as well why is it so angry well there have been some fan theories going around that i want to share with you guys here but the most popular one is coming from hidden reach right here where he says am i seeing what i'm seeing basically and the eyes and the nose kind of match up with the didact which That'd be kind of crazy to have the die deck just kind of casually come back with a season two multiplayer. You can kind of see how the eye formation is kind of similar, kind of inward slanted. There's like a bit of a circular kind of like nose nub kind of thing, which fits right there as well. So this is a complete fan theory and just like the best speculation that we have at the moment. What's up with that angry dust, right? According to Joseph Stain. And of course, once we learn more information about it, I definitely will share it with you guys on the channel. Do you have any theories? Let me know in the comments down below. And we all know that Halo is in kind of a weird place right now. I mean, like we're kind of just in a holding pattern waiting for season two. And a lot of people have been feeling that Halo fatigue start to settle in. Content creator and friend of the show, Sean W, was talking about saying he's kind of feeling in a weird place right now with Halo, saying like some of the feedback he's given is kind of working, but kind of not. It's like, it seems like we're kind of in like a limbo kind of state, which I would totally agree with that sentiment as well. It's like everyone's views are down, subscribe, you know, hype about the game is down. The player count has certainly been reduced quite a bit since launch, but the live team lead head of the design jerry hook actually replied to this tweet basically saying don't play halo saying here's the deal if you're frustrated with a form of entertainment whose goal is to be an escape from life step away from it life is too short to try and like something so my vote is to always move to something that brings a smile to your face so he's basically saying yeah if you're having problems with playing halo just don't play halo which Sounds kind of counterintuitive, but really does make a lot of sense because I certainly experience this, and I think a lot of us pe people as well are experiencing it is just burnout. We're getting a little tired of playing the same thing over and over and over again. All of us are on YouTube, or on Twitter, Reddit, any kind of social media platform. You are an enthusiast of this game. You want Halo to kind of be your everything game. You want to be like, Halo's the only game worth playing to me kind of thing, which I would certainly like to have that feeling as well. It's just currently not in that state right now. Now. So what I've done recently, ever since the Tactical Ops event, I've just kind of taken a step back from playing Halo as much. You know, I'm not grinding out ranks. I'll hop on if there's like some weekly challenge item that I really want, like I did with the Brass Nux. Because I know once season two releases with that new content, I'm gonna jump right back in and start playing every single day, playing around with some of the new content, getting that new customization, making progress on the battle pass and everything in between. Like in the meantime, I've been playing a lot of Destiny 2 and have been really enjoying it. I've missed that game. I haven't played it since uh, Shadow Key back in fall of 2019 and it's been great also halo infinite is essentially designed that way where you come in play the new content play through it and then wait till the next season comes with some new stuff that's the kind of the whole idea of the live service and also guys just to set expectations properly like i've been through this multiple times where a game kind of limps in at the finish line kind of thing like we have with halo infinite right where like we had destiny 1 destiny 2 mcc Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 from what I've played, like all year one launches have been either buggy or kind of just not playable or just not in a good state. And then a year later, they put some patches out, put some more content into the game and it ends up being a really great game. So I'm just saying like this year one guys, it's gonna be a kind of a long road to get to a spot where I feel like it's content complete. But I'll be with you guys every step of the way, providing the information you need to know to keep yourself updated with Halo. But if you're new to the channel and missing any content for me recently, check out this playlist right here. We're to all my Halo news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.